What if the fingerprints of ancient life were hiding in plain sight on a rock the size of a coffee table? That's the question scientists are asking after NASA's Perseverance rover dug into a Mars Art rock nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, a piece of the Bright Angel Formation at Chiava Falls in Jezero Crater. Perseverance didn't just snap a pretty photo, the rover's instruments found clay-rich mudstone that contains organic carbon and curious mineral textures, modeled leopard spot patterns, and concentrations of minerals like vivianite and grajite that, here on Earth, often show up where life has once altered chemistry. Those ingredients, carbon, iron, phosphorus, and sulfur interacting in watery settings, are exactly what astrobiologists look for when they search for places where life could have left a chemical signature. But let's be clear, this is not a proclamation that life existed on Mars. What makes Sapphire Canyon exciting is the combination of signals. The rock's textures suggest a watery environment, perhaps a river margin or lake bed, where sediments settled and minerals precipitated in ways that preserved organic material. On Earth, microbes can drive chemical reactions that leave fingerprints similar to what the rover images and instruments show. The presence of organic carbon alongside iron phosphate and iron sulfide minerals raises the possibility that biology played a role in shaping those patterns, yet geology and purely chemical processes can sometimes produce look-alike features. That's why scientists are careful, cautious, and methodical, they call these potential biosignatures, not proof. The real story here is twofold. First, Perseverance is doing exactly what it was sent to do, collect samples from environments that once hosted water and are likely to preserve chemistry. The fact that a sample like Sapphire Canyon exists, with multiple independent markers pointing toward a wet, chemically active past, strengthens the case that Jezero Crater was a habitable environment at some point in its history. Second, this finding underscores the immense value of the Mars sample return effort. Orbital and rover instruments are powerful, but there's a limit to what can be measured remotely. Bringing rocks like Sapphire Canyon back to Earth will let laboratories use instruments orders of magnitude more sensitive than anything on Mars, perform isotope studies, contamination controls, and cross-checks that can either confirm biological influence or reveal purely geological explanations. So what can we say with confidence right now? We can say that Perseverance found organics and unusual mineral associations in a clay-rich mudstone that probably formed or was altered in a watery environment. We can say that textures and mineralogy are intriguing and consistent with some processes that, on Earth, are associated with life. And we can say we are far from declaring habitability or life. Alternative abiotic processes, post-formation heating, radiation effects, and the complexities of Martian geochemistry could all explain parts of the puzzle. The scientific community will now push hard on ruling out those non-